These are randomly generated NHL players. Each round I will select one of the three, however I will only be able to see the first letter of their last name. After 20 players are drafted, I will assemble them on NHL 24 franchise mode and simulate with the hopes of winning a Stanley Cup. This is really going to be the ultimate guessing game. On the screen right here, we have KC, could be Kansas City, but it could also be Carlson and Carlson. The first set of players we get an S, we get a G and a B. It could be Gensel, could be Goudreau. We have Stamkos for S. There's obviously a bunch I'm forgetting, but the G is speaking to me, so we're gonna go with it. And that is lovely. We get a Claude Giroux, number 28. Welcome to the team. Next up, we have an F, another G. It could be Giroux again. It could be Goudreau. It <laughs> could be, I don't know. This is way harder than it looks. The name scrambles I'm pretty good at, but this... Not so much. Give me Fantilli. On the left. It's gotta be him. It is in fact not him. That's a rough go. The first letter is Carlson. It's Wild Bill. Has to be. Kapanen maybe? It is set to only forward, so I have to keep that in mind. It can't be EK65. I mean, I guess he's kinda like a forward. We're going to the right side. Give me the s Those were actually all good. We couldn't really miss, but I am definitely happy we got a Shifley huge pickup. It seems to be a lot of the same letters. There we go. But B is the new one here. G and D seem to be coming around a lot. We have like a weird rover position here between the defense and the goaltender. So we're going for B. A Stanley Cup champion and an absolute wrecking ball. Samwise Bennett. Today's the day. We break the cup curse. It's happening. You heard it here first. The letter O. That's a new one. We get O B. Hmm. Can't go with B again. I just kind of want to know who O is, so I'm going to go with it. And it was. That is fire. This team's going to be so good. G again. And then we get two S's. I got to go with the outlier. Left card. Don't be Giroux again. You know what? In case it is Giroux, I'll take the middle S as sort of a backup plan. We are safe. We got Ridley. That's huge. Team's kind of fire. T, S, and K. Hmm. We don't have a T yet, so let's change that. And we will be rewarded as we receive an Alexander Tuck. Honestly, if we don't win the Stanley Cup today, I might lose my mind. It's gotta be Van Riemsdyk. It has to be. Although we've been seeing it a lot, I actually don't have the letter K yet, so... Let's change that as well. Can't lie to you, was hoping it was gonna be Kucherov. You kidding me? But Adrian Kempe is a solid player, for sure. M-Z. And another K. Z or Z for you American watchers. There's two players that came to mind and both of them are not possible. Cause I got Zadorov, defenseman, and then I got Zherdev. Does not play, has not played for a while. Zednik also not in the NHL anymore. It's been a hot minute. It's gonna be someone good, isn't it? And I'm gonna look so dumb. All right, fine. Give me Zetterland? All right, you know what? I don't even feel bad for not knowing that one. Connor Zeri, I believe his name is. We also got Kempe and I believe back-to-back -back rounds because did we not just pick him? New round, we get a Zed again. That's weird. I feel like it has to be him unless it is Zetterland, but I don't know. Ponikarovsky? It can't be Pionk. But we are going with the P. So I've got two things for you here. One, can't believe I didn't think of them. The second is that this team is going to be outrageously stacked. The curse is broken right here, right now. It better be at least. I'm uninstalling if not. Show me the money. Wow, that is quite the coinky dink. I have to go with M. It must be done. Things are just going for me today, all right? It's just falling in place. This is unbelievable. We get Bradley... Marchand. Final forward. We pretty much have an all-star team. E. A sports. It's in the game. Listen, that's fine with me. Lars Eller, or as I like to call him, Leller, our boy. Final forward. It is time for defense mans. That could be Zadorov now. It really could. That could be Morgan Riley. Let's risk it for the Z, or the Z, if you will. Janderson would have been really cool, but you know what? We take Olin all day long. Next up, we have LBD. Let's go with B. I don't know what his overall is in this game, but to be honest, looking at the whole board here, I'm fine with it. An S, a D, and a J. J seems interesting. So 
Yeah, that's where I'm going. We see the return of Vinny D'Arnais. That man is staring into my soul and he wants to end me. However, we have added Yoki Haru to the team. Fire me vertical. Halfway through our defenseman here, Eric Carlson, gotta go with it. That right there is what we call a backfire. We got Klingberg when Manson and Slavin were on the board. Disappointing. But you know what? We've gotten lucky so many times today, I can't even say anything. Only four picks to go. We get, I don't know, Johnson, Mata, and... Fedoric. I feel like I'm aging myself here, but I didn't really watch any of these players. I don't know why their names are coming to my head. We're gonna go with the F because I failed the assignment. And it ends up being Ferrero Rocher. Guy seems like a beauty, so I'm down. Even though our team's insane, don't you dare. Then we're gonna get all three. Gotta go with the outlier. We're going B. If I'm not mistaken, he was traded to Calgary as part of the Markstrom deal. I also realized I didn't finish my other sentence. I just completely moved on. So although our team looks stacked, I still think a goalie is going to be huge. Is what I was going to say. Speaking of goaltenders, here we go. Stuart Skinner. Who else could it be? I don't know why my brain works this way. I saw A and I went to Artis Urbe. And G, we've got goalie. Yeah, 100%. A could be... Anderson? All right, fine. Let's go with A. That is the miss of the century. We could have had you see what I see. We could have had Georgiev, but instead we get Justice. The very last pick. I don't know if I... Tr is Kevin Lankinen even still around? I'm trying to think of goalies and none of their letters are here. Like I'm getting Ottinger, Shesterkin, John Gibson, Allmark Swayman. I'm avoiding H because Helberg loves, and I mean loves, showing up on this screen. All right, fine. Give me the M. You can't make this up. You honestly cannot script this. Spencer Martin. We miss out on Connor Hellebuck and Alexander Lyon. Remember when I said we needed a good goalie? Well, regardless, let's head over to NHL 24, assemble this team, send those players to international play so they are no longer in the NHL, and still hope we can do some damage. We're here, a 33-team league, and remember all that stuff I said about us winning the cup this time around? So the conferences, divisions are all wackadoo, but again, kind of makes it fun. We are over here at 87 overall, the Missouri Vipers. We do in fact have the lowest overall in our entire division, but you know what? We're little engine that could. Let's go. We're going to try to outscore our problems. I was actually just going to skip past the screen, but I voted against it in my head just so that we could tell Jabroni that it's not going to touch my lines. This really shouldn't come as a surprise because of our teams overall, but we are cap compliant. Yeah, you. Just make the playoffs and we have a chance. That's it. That's our goal right now. Get in. Our offense is magnificent. We got two plus fives. We really are going to try to outscore our problems. <laughs> Defensively, it's just not there. Ferraro is our best. At 82 overall, oh no. There isn't even anything I can really do about this dash one, so it's just going to have to remain. And here's our goaltending situation. So we have a really good offense, but, you know, the caboose of the team... Suspect. The bread man gets the most points with 98 and... You know what? Screw it. 44 wins. We're in. Just trying to, you know, instill some faith into the boys. Inject some confidence in that locker room. We lost 7-5 to the Sharks, but we beat the Bruins. Currently 0-2 against the San Jose Sharks. Love that for us. Finally, we take them down. 6-4 win. Right now, things aren't looking too good, but we could turn this ship around. 13-11-6 ain't too bad. A 9-4 win. That is what I call outscoring your problems. I don't know if we're going to be good enough. Like, we're getting wins and we're staying relatively above... 500 in terms of our wins and regulation losses, but it's probably not going to be enough unless we go on a rip here, which could happen. All right, three wins in a row, and then we lose to the Golden Knights, get back on the dub train. There it is, 30, 31. We're actually not doing too bad. Our division might be... Our division just looks insane. How is this going to happen again? It's actually beyond rude at this point. Okay, this is coming down to the wire. This is really coming down to the wire. That is huge... Keep the streak alive. Come on. No, we need to win. Get to 40 wins at least. Oh, you would. You absolute clowns. At least we got an overtime. We got one point there. Finally. Yes. Oh my word. 
I, I thought we were done. I honestly thought we didn't stand a chance. I'm all jacked up on Mountain Dew right now. That was a crazy finale. This is a primary example of overtime losses being so important. Carolina wins the President's Trophy. It's not a fantasy draft, so it's just their roster. Yeah, we were 11th in the league. Imagine we got finessed out of a spot like Ottawa did right here. Speaking of the Senators, Claude Giroux. Led the boys 90 points. Ovi had 90 points. Only 31 tucks, but still amazing. Breadman got us 83. We got 78 from Shifley. Tuck did well. Goalies did not do so well, but we saw that coming from a mile away. 29 points from Klingberg is respectable. And Eric Brandstrom kind of went off. Vasilevsky would be the league leader with 45 wins. He was six up on Freddy... Lukanen and Huso. It was a pretty close race for defense. I feel like in recent Sims, we've had a lot of blowouts, but not this time. We got 85, 84, and then 80. Makar's right there as well. Sydney the Kidney with 104 points is going to be your Art Ross winner. Maybe the heart. Hard to say. Pasta will be receiving the Rocket Richard. He was able to put up 47 points despite not having Marshy. Get in and we have a chance. That is what we have here tonight. That is what we've earned here tonight first three games everybody knows the rules we got the florida panthers that is a big win let's keep it going keep it going oh no it's a best of three win you won't do it you literally won't do it don't let it go to seven don't let it go to seven close the series out i can't handle this it is real time sim Time. Aaron Ekblad gets the Florida Panthers on the board. It is one nothing bad, guys. Ovi ties it up, though. Scores on Bobrovsky, and we have a tied game after one. We're getting destroyed in the shot department right now, so we should probably do something about that. And how about it? Peeper goal for Ovi makes the game 2-1. I'm actually nervous. Like, genuinely. Let's go, Marshy! It's done. It's done. Play safe hockey, and we are on to round two. What an upset. Don't even think about it. Don't get any ideas, Florida. Oh my, they are one goal away. They're one goal away. Play defense. Just shut down. I know we don't have defense, but forwards get back there. Boom! This is outrageous. How do we beat Florida and our reward is the Golden Knights? Everybody knows the rules. First three games. Come on now. Oh, I don't know what's going on right now. In the conference final, we have the Tampa Bay Lightning. You know the rules. They have been dusting their playoff series so far. They can't win, so I'm simming two more games. Don't, don't, don't. Don't let it go to seven. We're in the final! We took Lars Eller from them. They're going to be out for vengeance, but you know what? Just keep your head down. Play good hockey. Let's do this. First three games okay that's still awesome if we win this next one that's huge oh no oh no 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 best of three advantage yes we have to real time sim it we have to i thought for sure without a doubt we were done in round one that game seven i was sure we were gonna lose but look at us now we're one game away from the stanley cup and the boys are cooking someone give the boys a spatula and enable them to perform culinary actions because we are on another level. We're up by two, going in to the third period. Just shut it down. That's all you gotta do. Holy crap. Holy crap. This is it. This is it. We've done it. We've done it. Premature celebration. I don't care. We've done it. Let's go. Yes, I am jumping in and we are watching the lads celebrate. The drought is over. Get this time out of my face. Okay, we're going for 30 real seconds here. That is a little bit more scary, but Tendi pulled. No, nah, they don't got it. They don't got it. They might score here, whatever. No, they're not gonna score because Anunin is the man. It's actually really coincidental right now that I'm listening to Backcountry by A7X, which is like the Stanley Cup winning song. You know, in NHL 06, when you win the cup, they do the celebration, the picture, everything. It is that song. Let's go. We finally did it. I don't know how long it's been, but that is 
more than likely the longest drought I've ever had. What a weight off the shoulders that is. Claude Giroux getting the Conn Smythe. Certified beautician. He was an animal during the season. And he was an animal in the playoffs. Whoever it is. Go. Is that Panarin? I, yeah, it is, right? <laughs> I can't really tell. Has to be. Yeah. It's gotta be the bread, man. The model looks, you know, but whatever. We did it. We actually did it. The Stanley Cup is all ours. What an absolute thing of beauty. This is not the team that I thought was going to do it. But it's the team that did do it. The Calder Cup belongs to the Chicago Wolves. The boys just played great. Ovi was phenomenal. Tuck did really well. Giroux was obviously the man. I'm very impressed. A 922 save percentage. You legend. Defense that is about expected. Yeah, so whatever. This 80 overall... Backup goalie stud muffin had the best save percentage. EK65 did very well. Brent Burns did very well. Latang did very well. Didn't win the cup though. Crosby had the same amount of points as Giroux in two less games played, but they still gave it to Claude. I normally don't show this, but today I'm going to. Art Heart Combo. Sydney the Kidney. What does the Fox say obtains the Norris? Braden Point gets the Lady Bang. Cooley with the Calder. Our boy Claude Giroux, Conn Smythe. We saw that handed out live. A goaltender we could have had. Connor Hellebuck won the Vesna. Pavel gets the Jennings. Gudis is awarded the Masterton. Schneider receives the Jack Adams. Rory adding a Selkie. Crosby with the Ted Lindsay. And as we saw, Pasta with the Rocket Richard. Here's the playoff tree and what a beautiful sight it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you could leave a like and subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. We finally did it. That is awesome. I haven't released the feature for the one letter on the website. I'm not sure if I'm going to or not. I pretty much just did it locally. On that note, Jadies and Lentlemen, I'll see you soon.